Hello, and welcome to this introductory demonstration of the Blender Mesh Materializer add-on. This tool maps a set of source objects onto a selected target object using its active UV coordinates. This creates a new object that can be edited in Blender. This video will take you through the basics of using the add-on, which is available on Blender Market. The link is in the description. First, install the add-on via the standard Blender interface. Go to Edit Preferences. On the Add-ons tab, select the Install button along the top. Navigate to the place you downloaded the Mesh Materializer zip file. This file does not need to be unzipped. The Mesh Materializer add-on should appear as an entry in the list of add-ons. Check the checkbox next to the add-on entry to activate the add-on and you're good to go. Here is how to map some simple objects onto a subdivided cube. First, with the default scene, subdivide the cube by a factor of 10. Now, add some simple objects to the scene, such as a torus and a UV sphere. Bring up the Mesh Materializer add-on by pressing the N key, which will activate the toolbar on the right of the viewport. The Mesh Materializer should be available as a tab on this side panel. Add the source objects that will be applied onto the target object. This is done under the Source Objects section of the panel. Either click the eyedropper or select an object under the drop-down menu. Then press the plus button next to the drop-down box. Do this for the torus and the sphere. Select the subdivided cube, which will now be the target object. There are several ways to apply the source objects. You can enter Edit Mode by pressing Tab and make sure you are in Face Select Mode by pressing the buttons along the top. Select some of the faces on the cube. Then press the Apply to Selection button on the Mesh Materializer panel. This will apply the torus and sphere in a checker pattern onto the cube according to the selected object's UVs. Note that you can change the number of checker tiles how the objects are applied and introduce randomization on the Mesh Materializer panel. See the documentation linked in the description for further details. You can paint objects onto the selected object. Select the Paint button and left click and drag on the target object. You'll see the objects appear onto the mesh. Right click and drag to remove parts of the objects. This can also be done outside of edit mode. Press escape to cancel the paint mode. You can also apply the source objects to the whole of the mesh by coming out of edit mode and clicking apply to selection. Please note that for higher poly counts, this will take time to calculate. The add-on works by copying and slicing up the source objects according to the edges on the target mesh. This can result in topology that is not ideal, so there are additional tools available so you can clean up the mesh after it has been created. Select the resulting object, ending in the name Mesh Mat, and enter Edit Mode. You should see here the resulting cuts that have been selected by default. By pressing Dissolve Cuts on the Mesh Materializer menu, the add-on will remove these cuts. These cuts should disappear and the object pieces will be welded together. If you only wish to weld the vertices together, you can click Merge Vertices instead. There are other options to explore, such as removing any objects that have been partially sliced after you have dissolved the cuts. Note, some cleanup may still be required, so do check the mesh afterwards. See the documentation and FAQs for more details. You can experiment with more sophisticated setups by playing with some of the supplied sample files that come with the add-on. Here, an object created by applying the plating generator to a flat plane is applied to a tube. Note that materials and UV mappings are also copied over. If you have any questions or feature requests for the add-on, please get in touch via the Blender Market page linked in the description. If you'd like a video about a specific feature, leave a comment below. Thanks for listening.